a bittersweet gift for a mother who's finally come home. Vijay Kumari was convicted of murder in 1994. She was granted bail on appeal, but didn't have the $180 she needed to get out. So she spent all these years in jail, lost in the system and forgotten. I thought I'd die in prison. They used to tell me in there that no one ever gets out. But one person never forgot her, never gave up hope. Kanhaya was born to Vijay Kumari in prison and spent the better part of his childhood in juvenile homes. He now works at a clothes factory and used his salary to engage a lawyer and free his mother of the life she was condemned to. I used to think about her and cry, he says, all alone in prison with no one to visit her. Vijay Kumari's is not an isolated case. There are 300,000 inmates in India's prisons. 70% of them are yet to face trial. Many of them have already spent years in custody and it could be some time before they get out. A result of the sluggish pace of a justice system that hasn't kept up with the times. This is a scene that you'll find outside any major court in India. These little cubicles are the offices of clerks and lawyers. This is where you process your legal documents and help explain what's often a bewildering set of laws. This is India's legal system in the 21st century, completely unable to cope. Back at their home, mother and son contemplate their future. I just wish to see my son well settled. I have no one else other than him and we are very poor. The last two decades have been extraordinarily hard on them. Now it's time to make up for all the lost years. Sanjay Majumdar, BBC News, Kanpur.